In 1878, a nightmarish medical experiment unfolded in rural Massachusetts. Dr. Walter Freeman discovered something horrifying inside Prudence Wilcox's brain-laned network of microscopic tumors that seemed to pulse with alien intelligence. Doctors had committed her to the Worcestershire Asylum after she began speaking in languages no one recognized. Not ancient Latin or Greek, but something entirely unknown. Her seizures revealed strange patterns. During episodes, her body would contort mathematically, fingers tracing precise geometric shapes in the air. Her eyes, normally soft blue, would turn completely black. Medical staff watched in terror as she whispered complex mathematical equations they couldn't comprehend. Neurologists were baffled. The tumors appeared to communicate with each other, forming intricate neural networks that defied medical understanding. X-rays showed they weren't static growths, but living, moving structures inside her cerebral cortex. When Prudence died weeks later, her brain was preserved. Researchers studying her remains discovered the tumors had created a self-organizing neural network more complex than any human brain, suggesting something profound and terrifying, that consciousness might emerge in forms we cannot yet understand. Her preserved brain remains locked in a medical archive, a silent testament to an impossible mystery.